Bayard Rustin was an African-American Quaker. He was born in 1912 in Westchester, Pennsylvania. He was the youngest of 12 children. He worked to make black people's life better. His grandmother taught him important Quaker ideas. All people are equal before God. All violence is wrong. Treat people with love and respect. Bayard's grandmother taught him it is too tiresome to hate and never go to sleep still angry with anyone. Well, i always been in trouble Cause I'm a black-skinned man Now, when I was born in Westchester, Pennsylvania in 1912, there was not a single restaurant in this town that I could eat in. There was not a single theater in this town that I could go to. Trouble, trouble tennis, basketball, singing, and his studies. He had lots of friends, black and white. Outside school, his white friends could come to his house, but he wasn't allowed to go to their house. He played football and led the team to win every game for a whole season. After a game, he and his friends went to a restaurant for lunch. Bayard was not allowed to enter. All his friends left with him. Another team refused to play Bayard and his team because he was black. Later they did play. When his team practiced at the YMCA, he couldn't practice with them. Black people were not allowed in the YMCA. One day his friends made fun of a Chinese family who ran the laundry. Bayard joined in being mean to them. His grandmother heard about it and arranged for Bayard to go to the laundry after school to help for two weeks. We need in every community a group of angelic troublemakers. <laughs> our power is in our ability to make things unworkable. The only weapon we have is our bodies. And we need to tuck them in places so wheels don't turn. As an adult, Bayard knew the laws about black people were wrong because they thought white people were better. He felt angry when people treated him badly, but he wouldn't hurt them back. He would sit where he wasn't supposed to sit. He would go into toilets he wasn't supposed to. Sometimes people would throw him out, sometimes they would hurt him. Sometimes he was arrested, but he never hurt anyone. He would not go into the army, so in 1942 he was sent to prison for three years. In prison there was segregation too. Black people could not eat with white people. He went on a hunger strike. The rule was finally changed and prisoners could eat together. Still, some white people didn't like him. A white man hit him with a stick. He wouldn't hit back. He said to his friends, don't hit. The man stopped hitting. He felt he couldn't 
hit someone who wouldn't hit back. While in prison, he taught himself the guitar. He got permission to teach classes in reading, writing, drama and music, which other prisoners enjoyed. Most white people had never been taught by a black person. In 1947, he and his friends, white and black, sat on buses where they were not supposed to because they thought segregation was wrong. This was long before Rosa Parks. He was sent to prison again. He wrote in newspapers about how badly he was treated in prison and the laws were changed to stop this. In 1948, he went to India to learn about Gandhi's peaceful demonstration. Bard thought only non-violent actions would make white people stop discrimination against black people. Bayard also worked with Martin Luther King. Bayard taught him about non-violent protests. In 1963, Bayard organised the famous March on Washington. Over 200,000 people came. At the end of the March on Washington, Martin Luther King made his I Have a Dream speech.